Welcome to the NACE Star League studio. We hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving break and that you're rested, relaxed, and ready to experience finals week. Not just in terms of academics, but also esports competition because we have a whole bunch of NACE Star League finals coming to you this week. We're starting off in the Open Division and we're going to be going to the Rocket League Open Premier Finals. I'm your host, Jacob Palmer, calling all of the action, aka Gem. And this is the grand finals for the Open Premier Division for NACE Star League. And sitting atop of all the competition, the two teams remaining in the bracket, Northwood and Fisher, big surprise. But it's team number one going up against team number two to see who is going to be the overall NACE Star League champion. So we got both teams loaded in, ready to go. The Timberwolves and the Falcons are two teams that are seen repeatedly in the collegiate scene. We can also take a look at what we have coming up for the general day, as well as the rosters for both these teams competing here today. We're gonna be starting out with Northwood and Fisher. And in case you're seeing double here, that's because we have have another final, the Call of Duty final, coming after the Rocket League final. So don't go away. You are not going to want to miss any of the action here at Nace Star League. Talking about these two teams, though, since we're going to be seeing so much of them tonight, let's take a look at the individual rosters for each of these teams. Northward, we've got Hockey, Lion Blaze, and Zanil versus Sosa, Kinsey, and Money for Fisher College. And if you've been tuning in in the Nace Star League postseason at all, you will know that it is best of seven for all of these finals, so it should be a long haul knockdown drag em out fight. Of course, this late into the season, you can expect that everyone on every team will be supersonic legend, and it's do or die right now. There's no do overs, lifelines, no gimmies, no hints. It is just you're either a winner or a loser at this stage of the game. Either you get the trophy or you go home in shame. And one of these teams will be crowned the open premier champions in Nace. Starly, let's head down to the virtual field and see the Timberwolves and Falcons now lining up and ready to get into the action. And in the terms of the general lineup of how the arenas are going to know, we're going to be starting off on Manfield Night. Of course, an event serious as this of the grand finals for the entire season. One kind of just the standard, no frills. No nonsense stadiums that everyone is down on practice on. Of course, these players are so good, I'd expect them to excel at whatever stadium we would put them on. But you're going to be seeing Northwood in the light blue. Fisher will be in the dark blue. Timberwolves versus the Falcons. Both these teams have been pretty uncontested as far as the Rocket League season has gone. In some of the brackets in Nace Star League, we've seen a few upset wins here or there. Some teams that might be seated below 10, you know, in the teens area, pulling off a few upset of victories, but hasn't really been the case in Rocket League. And instead, the two teams that everyone expected to be here in the finals have indeed made it to the grand finals. So now all of the waiting will be for naught as we get down into the action. Right off the bat, Fisher is, uh, right off the bat, we see Sosa from Northwood, excuse me, in the dark blue. So Northwood's in the dark blue. Fisher is going to be in the light blue. A excuse me, Fisher, excuse me, Fisher is in fact, I am hearing that Fisher is in fact in the dark blue. I'm recognizing their gamer tags. It's just the overlay we have there is mixed up. So Fisher in dark blue, Northwood in light blue, Fisher on the back foot starting off the game. They're going to be able to find a huge clear as Line Blaze is looking for his clear. He's blocked by money. This could be a potential follow-up by Fisher, but Zanil is clearing that ball all the way back. So a huge shot toward the goal off the crossbar, not finding anything off of that one. A minute into the game. Neither team has scored. They seem pretty evenly matched as far as I am concerned. Money do doing a little bit of an air dribble is going to be dropped down into the corner by Zanil, giving up a bit of space to pass back to Kinsey. Hockey moving in to take a shot. Sosa, quick shot on goal, blocked by Zanil. Still no goal for either team, but Sosa from Fisher is just putting on all of the pressure right now for this first game. Northwood trailing a little bit and shots of goal only by one, but the game is still relatively young, so we can't call anything quite yet. Money looking to center. Kinsey heading out in the wings, not going to find the straight shot he was looking for. 
Ball up for grabs. Hockey is going to pick up Boos. Sosa puts a demo onto Hockey, a save from Lion Blaze. Northwood looking to hang in there as Fisher trying to put some pressure, but no real centering has come out of the play thus far. We've seen relatively a handful of shots on goals, but a lot of fighting in the corners as these teams are reading each other's game plans pretty well. Money goes for the block. He bounces off the, the shot taker, but not the shot itself. Luckily, a teammate is right there to keep this all even. Hockey moving back now, going to go off the wall, starts with one touch. Zanil coming in for the pass and is unable to follow up. Line Blaze goes in for the shot, but it is not a quick shot at all and way off to the side. So now two minutes, 30 seconds into the game. Zanil and then Lion Blaze unable to get the first goal. Both these teams still tied zero piece. Sosa now moving in for a shot, but Lion Blaze will take it away from him and move on off to the corner to strategize the next course of attack. Lion Blaze moves in off the corner to center. Sosa will get a touch on that, leaves it for Kinsey, gets one touch, going for the double, and will be deflected off to the side by Hockey. Coming up on two minutes left in game one of this match, and neither team having scored just yet. Money now moving in. We'll play off the walls. And Neil, enough of a distraction for him. Double commit by Northwood. This could be crucial. Zanil is there, though, to be by the Timberwolves. Enough time to walk away. Sosa moving in. Gets, gets the double touch, but really no one to pass to. So his shot's going to be blocked. Money moving in. Trying to keep the side control going for Fisher. Demo on to Kinsey. Sosa has to step up, be the main defensive player. Ball corralled off to the side of the field. Hockey moves in, plays off the ceiling. The ball is going to slowly move its way back over toward Northwood. Shot on goal by Kinsey. Follow up by Money, and that crossbar is there. Ironclad in the grand finals. Someone's certainly been practicing. The fourth member of the team coming in clutch there to keep this game tied zero apiece. We might actually be seeing an overtime, but Kinsey position a little bit too far up. Not punished. This is we get everything all sorted out. Kinsey off the corner. Oh, that 50 not really getting into a shot that Fisher was looking for. Zanil looking to place it around. He's not going to be able to find his clear. Is there a follow-up from Fisher? Lion Blaze with a pop off to the left side of the goal. Ball is passed over to Hockey and a huge bomber back over for Northward. 30 seconds remaining. Money's going to say no to that. That Fisher wants to be the first ones on the board. Sosa unable to steal away from Hockey, but Kinsey is going to be right there as the goalie finds the save. And with only 15 seconds left, we very well could be heading into an overtime to start off our Nace Star League Open Premier Finals. It's just Sosa and Hockey fighting for it in the corner. Hockey elevates up, passes Neil for the shot, finds it with only four seconds left. The Timberwolves take the lead. That is picture perfect aimed. Look at that. Everyone already committed up in the air and just beautifully placed in the upper right corner. Could not have been more perfectly aimed if you tried. And now just four seconds left. Fisher is going to need one heck of a kickoff. They try to take a shot on the goal. And now the ball is grounded and Northwood will go into the early lead. Good start for the Timberwolves. I got to say, Timberwolves being the number one seed, you would expect them to be that good going in. But Fisher is always kind of a wild card. Sometimes they like to start slow and then work their way up. We have been no stranger here at Nace Star League to seeing Fisher go for intentional reverse sweeps. But when you're going up against number one seeded Northwood, I don't think you can necessarily go for that strategy. So I do think Fisher is given their all, though, all things considered. We are seeing a lot of shots on goal there. It's just something in the back of your mind. You know, Fisher can just kind of turn on the wind switch, if you will, and then just glide to victory in the later games. But the Timberwolves are holding them at bay. And in the Varsity Premier League, and, uh, we have been kind of wondering where Northwood is. Well, they have been taking names in the open. Premier Division is the answer. Northwood, one of the top teams for NACE Star League. Uh, they were in serious contention to get into the finals last year. They made it all the way to the finals this year in Rocket League. And all of those Timberwolves fans out there might have something to cheer about as we move in to the second match. Fisher Falcons versus Northwood Timberwolves. 
Northwood already on the board with one and a nice change of scenery, a little bit of serenity, if you will, to be brought into this match. Of course, Northwood is not really caring that much about where they play. They just want to make sure that score keeps going up in their favor. We move on to a 2-0. But of all the all the tournament maps that we normally say, I'd say this one it tends to be one of my favorites. And here goes the first kickoff. Demos right off the bat by Kinsey. Fisher College money looking to play at the front post. Sosa trying to keep possession of the ball. No real clear from Northwood yet. Yeah, dangerous pinch comes out by Fisher, almost scoring a goal. And Kinsey will follow up to put the Falcons on the board. Yeah, that took, uh, hockey was just trying to clear it, but it, it almost turned into, I don't know if you could say he assisted an own goal, but at that point, I mean, you got to go for the ball. You got to deflect it anyway. So wouldn't blame him for that, but it was just great read by Fisher, seeing that they could pinch off of him and put a very hard to defend shot on goal. And then they follow it up for the one score. So quite a difference in game two compared to game one. Goal scored in less than half a minute compared to game one. Went all the way four minutes and 56 seconds before the first goal was scored. So now Northwood is going to find themselves in a bit of an unfamiliar territory on the back foot. Had a great shot on goal, but Sosa has control of the ball. Passing to Kinsey. Lion Blaze gets right in his face in midfield. Ball up for grabs. And he'll pass over to Lion Blaze. Up high. Hockey moves in for the shot. Trying to sneak it in, but Sosa will push it off to the side to keep Fisher at the 1-0 lead. And Lion Blaze stop this clear. Money going for it. Lion, oh, he's trying so hard. But the ball is slowly moving its way past midfield marker. Plenty of speed, though, for Northwood to still recover from this. Oh, that's a, that's a whiff that you don't want to see. And unfortunately, we get to see it again in the miracle of super slow motion. There's just an unfortunate read there, leaving Sosa clear open for a shot above hockey. And that'll just do it. So now Fisher into a bit more of a commanding position up two and zero now moving forward to try to widen this gap even more rub the salt in the wound if you will Sunil goes in nice pass over to a teammate Northwood unable to find their clear however money now going in line blaze trying to stop the shot huge bomber back on over to Fisher territory hockey steals the hundred boost away from Fisher Sunil moves in try to get the shot lion blaze does he have the follow-up he moves off to the side comes in by Sunil whiffs on his shot and all this boost that Northwood managed to steal away from Fisher is just getting slowly bled away by a lot of whiffed and missed shots. Northwood might not be comfortable playing on the back foot right now. Maybe just a bit more competitive team when it's tied or they're in the lead, but we'll just have to see. I mean, only two minutes have passed, so there's still plenty of game left to play. Although Northwood has only managed to put a measly one shot on goal thus far, and they're really struggling to find another one as Fisher keeps on this side control. Sosa looking to sneak it in and punishes a really bad mistake by Northwood. Everyone on one side of the field, absolutely no one home to play defense. Hockey could only look and get an assist for the own goal for Fisher, so... Now the Falcons are really happy with these results. 3-0. Hockey moving in. Going to try to turn this around for the Timberwolves. Money's going to say, nope, I'm comfortable being in the lead. Let's stick with it for the remaining two and a half minutes. We're now halfway through game two. Fisher moving on in. Hockey elevates up. Shot off to the side. It's going to be deflected. Pushed off to the side by Money. Sosa gets a demo on to Lyon, and that's just going to leave Northwood with not enough people to push forward offensively. Fisher now comes in on the counter attack. Hockey moving in to take the shot. Blocked by Money. Zanil. Ah, oh, Sosa just plays right over him. And man, Northwood is really just kind of whiffing a lot of these 50s that we're seeing so far in this game. Fisher's just winning the faceoffs consistently. Zanil, hockey moving in. Off to the side, Lion Blaze in the passing lane, not going to find it. Money takes control. Zanil puts one up toward the backboard, so, so we'll deflect that off to the side. One minute, 40 seconds left in game two, and 
A lot of options running out for Northwood. They're going to try to start things off with a demo. Now moving in, Hockey trying to clear out the goal, but unable to dislodge Sosa and Kinsey. Tries to take a shot or fake him out with a slow ball, if you will, but doesn't find it. And Fisher not letting up for one moment. So we're heading in with a shot by Money on an open goal. And I think that's the final nail in the coffin as far as game two is concerned. Nice read by Money. And again, just a little bit too far up positioning hockey late on the rotation. And I'm just kind of seeing that a, a little bit with Northwood. The rotations and general coordination and team play seems to be whittling down as far as game two is concerned. But... This is a best of seven. This is designed to test these players full endurance. And we've seen things change around in games three and four in a best of seven as the playtime winds on and fatigue starts to set in. We'll have to see which team kind of closes out better. But as for game two right now, Fisher, undisputed winners, four and zero. Can they make it five and zero? They sure can. Kinsey will come in on the upper right corner and just now Get into gloat territory, if you will. And this is part of the game, too. I mean, if you're a good team, you have to realize at this point, you know, you have to be mentally resetting yourself going into the next game. But if I'm the leading team, I'm just going to want to run up that score as much as I can, you know. Try to get in their heads as much as you will. Get a few hat tricks for yourself as well. I see you, Sosa. Comes in with a nice cheat off the kickoff and then just uncontested with his shot. Completely plays around Zanil. Now just 42 seconds to go in this first game. I dare say we're flirting with Brazil territory if Northwood manages to find a goal. And sometimes one goal can just be a good, you know, feels good goal. Get your team back in the spirit. We can do this. We'll get them next game. Never want to count yourselves out until the very end. If you can't win this game, then at least use it as a chance to learn for the next game because the most successful teams in best of sevens are ones that are able to read their opponent's strategies and start to play around them. But as for this game, we're counting down on 15 seconds. Lion Blaze gets one touch. Money's going to stop that from becoming a clear. Moves in for the shot for the seventh. Can you get it? Kinsey moves in once again. Line plays with so many clears and is going to keep the Falcons to a 6-0 lead. Not that they're disappointed with a lead that big, I would assume. Because, wow, did Fisher come in in flying form. Look at that, 76% of the total shots on goal. And a lead in ball control as well. It was all Fisher all the time and it's going to continue to be all Fisher all the time as far as this channel is concerned because we're going to see these two teams albeit different squads but in Call of Duty uh, on a Star League as well coming up after uh, the Rocket League final so if you're a Fisher or Northward fan you're you're eating good tonight as far as content is concerned but now we move on to game three and we basically reset this best of seven into a best of five it seems like a lot of best of sevens turn in this way and if I were a gambling man, I might even put some money down that we're going to reset this to a best of three later on because that's just the way when you get to this top-seeded team going up against the second-seeded team going off against each other in the Open Premier Final. And this is it for all the marbles. All of the fall competition has been leading up on to this point. So uh, just waiting on our heels and toes to get down to game three. And the question that everyone's going to be asking is, can can Northwood recover? They were matching Fisher shot for shot earlier on in game one, but game one you can't always judge things by. A team is just getting started out. They might just try to feel out their opponents, see what their strategy is. Fisher might have just kind of taken a, you know, let's see and wait strategy. And then once we get some good idea on how Northwood plays, let's move in for the kill. And they've managed to tie this up with a huge six and a zero in game two. Heading on down to game three right now to see who is going to take the lead. Starting things off, Kinsey will have possession of the ball. Hockey's going to block him in midfield. Money coming in off the ceiling, gets one touch, continues to go off to the corner. Sosa comes in for the shots. Anil will read it and save it. Goes off to Hockey with just a nice little tap to push it to midfield. Make it competitive. 50 not quite in favor of either team. The ball's going to remain in midfield up for grabs. Sosa moves in. Zanil reads a shot. Whiffs on it. Hockey comes in as the backup. 
trying to find his clear shot ball goes clear to the other side of the field. But I mean, in the first minute, Fisher is just taking the side control pretty lopsided in their favor again. We'll see if Northwood can make anything. Oh, I like this push. The demo on to money, but Kinsey's going to be there to give money enough time to respawn. Hockey moves in. Nice bump out of the way. And if Lion Blaze wasn't there, that would have sure been a goal for Fisher. Comes in Zanil moving. Ball high up above the goal. Nice deflect by Fisher. Sosa comes in, stops that shot, and Zanil and Hockey once again back to square one. A minute and a half having passed. A lot more like game one than at game two. But who gets on the board first is the question. Line play setting up for Zanil. Kinsey will read it. Sosa comes in, leaves it for Kinsey. Great team play. Goes with a flip reset, but doesn't have any altitude left to play with. And goes crashing down near the post. Lion Blaze tries to put a shot on goal. Sosa will read it and push it off into the corner. When he comes in, oh, nice sneaky shot by Zanil. Let's take a look at that one again. You know, so much in these high skill games, you. You know, you get, you, you get distracted by all the flashy acrobatics, the mid-air battles, the dribbles, the flip resets, and sometimes just being on the ground at the right moment knowing that you can drive the ball into the goal is good enough too. And Northwood will take that move up to a 1-0 lead. Things looking a lot better for the Timberwolves and even better with a shot onto Sosa. Doesn't find its way through. Sunil now moving in. Plays it around Sosa. Money puts a shot, but Lion Blaze is right back there, keeping the pressure onto the Falcons. Kinsey now moves in, shot right over Lion Blaze, who is fresh up on boost. Money now moving in. And hockey, a, a lot of better play now I see from Northwood in reading Fisher shots. I think in game two we saw a lot of whiffs and they were trying to like fake out Fisher or read where they're gonna take the shot. But now Northwood seems to have it dialed in. Maybe even more as Lion Blaze goes for another shot. Double commit on the save from Fisher. But it will be enough to keep that shot at bay as we go into two minutes left in game three. So now elevating up. Two on Northwood trying to defend. Lion will be there to get the save. Hockey and money at 50. Doesn't result in a shot on goal, but it leaves it for Northwood to get a bit of territory back. Sosa now moving off to the side. Lion Blaze tries to take it away from him. Pretty successful in that regard. Gets a bunch of territory back for Northwood. Now moving in Zanil to play it off the wall, but Sosa gets right in his face. Now Kinsey coming in. Hockey will keep it competitive in midfield. Zanil now comes in for the shot. Body block by Money. Lion Blaze will play it around him. Zanil trying to clear off a bit of defensive play off to the side but no one really in center to follow up with a shot on goal. Northwood trying to aim on to this one goal lead and Money will deny it right then, right there. And I don't think he even needed that much. No, that he did, was not assisted in any way. That is just a great play by a great player. Fisher College now one to one against the Timberwolves. Northwood comes in, ball pinched off to the side, off the kickoff. Money coming in, Sosa possibly pass to. Lion Blaze will take the ball, get possession of it, try to play around Kinsey. Nope, not going to do it. Fisher's been too good tonight for you to play around them. Kinsey comes in with a tap. One minute left. Hockey with pass over to Dizio. Sosa will push it back to midfield. Hockey trying to bump Kinsey out of the way, but Money still has possession of the ball, pushes it back. Sosa moves in. Collision right in midfield, stopping a bit of momentum, but the goal is left wide open by Fisher. And Northwood will take that one and say thank you very much. Yeah, I had to wonder. So Money came in. Money was there with the rotation. He just misses on the shot, and Kinsey is too far back on the other rotation to be able to stage any sort of follow-up. So, wow, now Falcons. On the back foot again, Northwood. Just half a minute left in the lead. Sosa moves in, plays it off the walls, and Neil will block that. Kinsey trying to center again. Pass over to Money. Shot a bit high though, up into the backboard. 
Fine Blaze just looking to try to survive for this next 10 seconds, and then Northwood will be back in the lead with a 2-1, but Sosa has different plans. Fisher brings it back to a two-goal tie. Money sets it up, and there is just so much collision. Fisher just bodies it in. Oh boy, we're, we're probably going to an overtime to decide game three, and I'm all for it. Money comes in with a nice cheat off the kickoff, but won't find the goal. Ball will just probably hit the ground, although Money passed over to Sosa, and is deflected. Northwood will drive it at least two and overtime. Neil gaining a bit of territory off the kickoff. Now coming in, Hockey just going to run right into Kinze. Oh, nice centering and a shot by Hockey. Just 11 seconds into overtime. Northwood walks away with it. Timberwolves now back in the lead, two and one. Very exciting game three, I gotta say. I mean, that was an action packed last half minute in this game. You can see the shots on goal. Slightly in favor of Fisher, but not as lopsided as we saw last game. Northwood still had 46% of the shots on goal and a little bit more ball control actually as well. So that allowed them to be able to get the win in game three. And I have a feeling we might be seeing some trading coming back out. We might see a game taken here or there for Fisher. Again, like I said earlier on in the broadcast, probably reset to a best of three coming up on this next game. It's either that or the Northwood Timberwolves will move on to match point against Fisher. And then uh, you got to think in that scenario, Fisher, uh, if it was 3-1, then Fisher would have to get four, goal, four wins in a row uh, to be able to bring it back. Actually, three, no, excuse me. Um, they didn't need four wins overall, but three wins in a row. I mean, it's not a reverse sweep, but it's darn close to one coming back from one and three. But that's all in the future. I might be getting ahead of myself. We could be going to a 2-2 tie. Let's get into game four and find out if that is indeed the case. As Fisher looking to go up against Northwood. Nice change of scenery again. Got to hand it to Nate Starley, doing a pretty good job of, you know, making it a little bit interesting. Some of the traditional stadiums, but also a bit more exotic locations as well. Makes for a fun viewing experience in my book. Now on to the actual gameplay. Sosa comes in, but his shot is slow and Line Blaze will play back on it. Money back into his own territory. Kinsey from Fisher demoed by Lion Blaze. Sosa trying to set it up. Doesn't really have anyone to pass to. Money moves in. Still up for grabs. Hockey, nice play. <laughs> Northwood. I was wondering what was happening. Turns out they were slow playing this, just waiting for the right moment. They realized all of Fisher, first off, to start up was in. Uh, was on one side of the field. In fact, I think only in the quarter of the field, uh, the back corner. So realize that those two weren't going to come in for a follow-up once they committed one to try to save they were wide open nice team play by northwood kinsey moves in quick shot on goal to try try to die it back up not going to find it northwood with a few seconds to try to figure out how they can get their best clear kinsey is not going to let him think for too long tries to put a shot on goal zanil has the ball all to himself money will come in to try to be a nuisance but hockey playing some nice interference against the falcons Keeping them guessing. Zanil now waiting, plays around the corner. Ball high up, back to midfield. Hockey will elevate. Oh, they just run right into Kinsey. They're at least able to keep Kinsey from clearing it, but now Sosa up the corner looking for his clear. Zanil finds a flip reset, going to try to drive it, but can't. There's no one in mid to really keep the play going, so. Zanil off the crossbar and manages to find a way to squeeze it in all by himself. Oh boy. Nice play by Northwood. I, I was thinking for sure that Zanil just wouldn't be able to get it going one on two, but uh, it's all about those exciting goals, those ones that we aren't expecting to make these games extra exciting. Zanil moves in around the corner. Is there going to be the follow-up from the center? And Hockey just finds a bit too much interference from Fisher to be able to get another goal. 
And now Northwood up to a 2-0 goal. This is the largest lead they've had so far in this series. Most of the leads they've had have been just one, and Fisher bit off more than they can chew. Almost, it bounces off the post. That could have been another goal. Fisher with an all-in mentality, and if you're Northwood, you gotta take advantage of this. Move in when they overcommit. Zanio comes in, gonna try to push it past Kinsey and Money as well. Lion Blaze unable to center it though. Now that Fisher is back at their goal, the defense will be a lot stronger. Shot off into the far corner to where Lion Blaze is waiting. Neil comes in. Nice shot by Hockey. It's just Sosa left to defend, but the ball, nice pinch off the wall to center. But just a little bit too late on the follow up for Northwood. That could have been a great goal there. I like what I'm seeing from the Timberwolves. Pass back over to Zanil. That's what I'm talking about. If Fisher is moving too far over, you take every single open goal that you can get. Nice call out to Zanil as well. Fisher had already just moved all in on the counterattack. Northwood plays around them. So now the shoe's on the other foot or the tire on the other axle, I suppose. Northwood now has a huge lead. It's their own game two, except it's game four. And like I said, if they win game four, they move on to match point. Force Fisher to win three in a row. Maybe even more than three in a row. How about four in a row as far as your goals? Just another completely open goal from Fisher. Maybe not really much to say about this one. It's a wide open goal, so. Nice on the Timberwolves. Oh, I like. I like the little paw prints that uh, Northwood has representing the Timberwolves. I like that. That's just a nice, subtle nod to your team mascot. I, I very much approve of that, getting in that school spirit. Sosa now tries to pass, doesn't find anyone to pass to. Line Blaze will block it. Kinsey puts a shot on goal, saved by Northwood. Moving around the corner now, and a demo to put Fisher back in the running. Let's see that one again. Comes in, and amazing read by Money. My goodness, had Lion in his sights. You talk about wanting to use demos to score goals, that is probably the most perfect example you could ask for, clearing out the goalie. Fisher still has a bit of gas left in the tank. Might try to rally in the final minute and a half, but old habits are coming back to bite them. They leave a goal open again, and Northwood capitalizes and gets themselves a hat trick as well. Now I sort of teased, I sort of teased in game two that we're starting to move into Brazil territory, and that's even more true now. We're just two goals off from Northwood actually making this a full-fledged Brazil. Moves on in Zanil, not able to play around money. But I like this, hockey not being too careless, still maintaining that defensive positioning. Make sure there's no open goal. A demo is placed onto Fisher. Money comes back in. Double commit by Fisher, though. Things are just falling by the wayside. The coordination, the cooperation, not working out for the Falcons in game four. This is a huge, a huge breakaway opportunity for the series as far as Timberwolves are. <laughs> I hate to see that one again. That's not even that you didn't have anyone committed on it. Zanil comes in, but just misjudges the shot. I got to give it to Sosa. That's a slick play off of the ground there. Nice little pinch to keep Fisher in it. Now we are for sure aren't going to see a Brazil, and I'm sad because I like seeing Brazils. Not to one team necessarily. I'm not going to play favorites. Let's just say if one team gets a Brazil, I want a Brazil the other way in the next game just to make sure all things are even. I just like the score line is all. Meanwhile, back to the game. A bit of fighting in midfield for possession in hockey. Moving around the corner, takes up the full boost away from Fisher. Huge shot back over toward Timberwolf territory. Comes in Zanil, line in the weight. Sosa elevates up, not able to play around hockey. Gets a bunch of ground back for the Timberwolves. Half a minute left in the proceedings. Sosa comes in with one touch. We'll go for two. Actually, a flip reset to keep going but just short of the goal. I just don't think there's enough time for Fisher to fight back. They've gotten some cheeky goals in the last minute or so. 
I, which I do appreciate, but as for this game, it's going to be Northwood walking away with a very crucial victory. And now you can basically say that Northwood is playing uh, as soon as this ball hits the ground. There we go, thank you. I didn't want to speak for too long because sometimes these players, they keep it in the air for an inordinate amount of time. And look at the shots on goal and side control in terms of the stats, everything in favor of Northwood. Great advantage from them in the overall scores and shots on goal. Pretty clear lead as far as the Timberwolves is concerned. But I was about to say, basically, they put themselves into a form of baseball as far as the match is concerned. They got three games left, and they can strike out on two of them, but three strikes, and Fisher will take this whole series out from under them and walk away with the championship. Fisher, of course, is one of those schools that is a force in all sorts of games. They always try to, you know, Thanos gauntlet, if you will, get one gem from each game in the Infinity Gauntlet, walk away, and then just snap away all their competition. And that just might start out with this match in open premier Rocket League Grand Finals. But they've got a tough road ahead of them. They gotta win three in a row, any slip up at all, and Northwood will be crowned the winners of the open premier, premier division. We also haven't seen too much of or Northwood in the varsity premier division. They've mainly been making their sights seen in the open premier division. So it isn't like Fisher where you might have a team in varsity premier as well and maybe you can get a win there. It's kind of all or nothing here for Northwood. This is their chance at the championship in the open premier division. And it's all coming down to this at game five. We're ready to head back down to the field and see if there is any hesitation from Northwood to be able to claim this victory once and for all. Fisher Falcons, Northwood Timberwolves, the number one seeded Timberwolves are just one game away from claiming the Nace Star League Open Premier Rocket League Championship. Put all those words on a trophy, it's a mouthful, but it's a win nonetheless and one that Northwood is not wasting any time getting as we head right into a goal against Fisher. Only less than 15 seconds into the goal, Northwood putting the Falcons on notice. Sosa moves in past to Kinsey. Sosa also working to clear out the goalies. Hockey and Lion Blaze looking over the ball, trying to figure the best way to clear this out. Lion Blaze now moves in, takes a shot, and Sosa will be right there to save. But Northwood trying to open up a huge lead like they did the last game. Four minutes, 25 seconds left, plenty of time. Lion Blaze trying to stop the forward momentum of that ball. Money comes in with a clear. It's gonna bounce right off the wall. Hockey now with possession, looking to push it up. Lion Blaze not able to keep going. Money being a consistent pain in the corner. Kinsey will come in as well and make it an all out demo. Giving Sosa a bit of room to dribble with, but Lion Blaze just goes right up into Sosa. Zanil also with the save. Timberwolves hanging fast. Another shot attempt by Sosa. Not going to find it, and Northwood keeping in the lead 1 to 0. Zanil comes in, hockey, looking over the situation. Passes Zanil off to the side, or played himself. Nice flick off to the side. Double commit by Fisher, but Zanil just wasn't in the right position to drive it in. Three minutes, 30 seconds left. Kinsey, clear back over, but it is a straight shot, so pretty easy for the Timberwolves to answer back. Blaze, double touch, off the ceiling. Hockey moves in. Kinsey pass, oh, trying to pass Sosa, but it's way short. Zanil has room to work with. Lion Blaze pushes it in, but it's off to the side. Oh, you are at match point. You cannot miss shots like that, my friend. That may give Fisher the opportunity to fight back. They've managed to get the side control back, centering it up. Off the backboard, Sosa comes in, doesn't manage to find it, but oh man, we could have been looking at a tied game here. We're almost halfway through game number three. Northwood cleaning on for dear life. As soon as I say that, no, maybe, maybe not cleaning on as much. They might have actually found a good grip on the cliff side because Nice play around the sole goalie for Fisher to drive the ball into the lower right corner, find the goal. Now Timberwolves up to a 2-0 lead. Hockey moves in, lead. Now also making moves, and a shot just falls right out of the sky into Northwood's goal. 
And he sets it up. I, he wasn't really even intending that for it be a shot on goal. I think you got to give it to Sosa right there, though. That disruption pushing Zanillo back into the goal. It's such a clear moment. I don't know if they play in that far in advance to get a pinch off the ceiling that just fell into the goal, but Sosa realized the opportunity when he saw it. And Kinsey comes in to push Fisher up to a 2-1 lead right off of the kickoff. Nice play off the ground. Oh my goodness, we've got a competitive one on our hands. Can you answer the call, Northwood? Can you get back into the running? You have half a game left to do it with. Kinsey pass to Sosa. He doesn't find the shot on goal there. One corner, Northwood trying to find their clear. Light pass over to Hockey, keeps it moving up the field. Zanillo for the redirect, blocked by Kinsey. And now Sosa. Also making moves to try to knock the goalie out of place. He gets demoed though, so the opposite of how he was hoping that one would. Meanwhile though, Fisher still manages to hang on to the lead. Zanil now up with a nice dribble. Plays it under, but doesn't have a follow-up. Northwood just filling up on boost. Now they move in. Off to the back corner. Bit of a deflection, keeps it in midfield. Hockey pass to Lion, plays back over to midfield. Zanil's gonna have to be the one to corral this. Play it around money. Now try to find this clear, a nice dribble. It's off the backboard. No real follow-up though in this last minute. Not too much action. Time's running out for Northwood to get back in the game. Moves in with the pass over to Hockey, and they'll find it to push the Northwood back into the lead. Oh boy, this is a nail biter. Northwood now has three goals on the board. Fisher College is two. It's mostly been Hockey who's been the goal scorer for Northwood. Line Blaze also getting in on the action with one goal to his name. Zanil also just doing a great job with the assists on those goals, has two to his name. It is just one minute left, and this could be the one minute that decides it all. Oh, and what a whiff! What even was that from Northwood? Look at this, the ball is shot so slowly. Both Lion Blaze and Hockey have their sights on it and they just can't touch it. And we're tied up again with a minute left. Oh man, I told Northwood early, you can't miss shots like that. You also can't miss saves like that at this point of the game. Things are down to the wire. Less than a minute. Northwood moving in, trying to find their winning goal. Lion Blaze has no one to pass to. It's going to head back towards Sosa. Zanil going to block that potential clear. Now up the corner. Kinsey with the shot. Will ground it. Hockey comes in. 30 seconds left. Might try to just walk all this out into the goal right off the backboard. Very close to the crossbar, too. Doesn't quite hit it, though. Still. Northwood moves in, and that might have been their one opportunity to keep this out of overtime. Sosa tries to take a shot. They're not going to fake out Lion Blaze. Just five seconds left. We could be going into overtime unless Northwood has the rally of their life, the dribble of their life. Nope, not going to be the case. And this is the golden goal of golden goals. Not only to win the game, but to win the match. And the championship for Northwood. Look at this cheat off the kickoff. They just bump right into the defense from Fisher. They're not going to be able to move it all the way in. But oh, if they had ended it in that fashion. My goodness. Now they'll have to play a bit more for it, however. Daniel comes in, play off the wall. Moves in, not going to be able to take it away from Money. I just take a few breaths myself as the tension is thick enough to cut with a knife. It has to be here for Northwood. And look at all the commits in midair from both these teams. The gravity of the situation is getting to them. Northwood only needs one goal, and our season will be over. The Timberwolves as the champions. Nice shot by Zanil to claim it. Northwood, the Timberwolves, you are the nace, Starly.
Open Premier Rocket League champions. GG's all around and what a spectacular fashion to end it in. It's going to end with a 4-1 scoreline in favor of the Timberwolves. My goodness, and that 4-1 doesn't tell the whole story. We had multiple overtimes, multiple upset goals. What a final that you could have asked for between these two very talented teams. Congratulations, Timberwolves. You are the champions. And just after that great game, we also want to give shout out to all of our sponsors who have helped bring a wonderful season of NACE Star League action to you. We've got Truth, the nation's largest public health organization dedicated to a future where tobacco and nicotine addiction is a thing of the past. You can go to Breath of Stress Era right now to find out effects of vaping on your mental health. And they're not the only ones, of course, bringing the action to you. We have also got the Army ROTC. You know, college opens minds, but with the Army ROTC, ROTC, you also open up a world of opportunity. As an Army ROTC cadet, you will learn to be a guide, mentor, and decision maker. Be a leader for life. Inspire others today. Scan the QR code for more information. And then just one more shout out to LA Comic Con, who's producing an expansive and exciting gaming, esports, and anime experience in the West Hall of the LA Convention Center, December 1st through 3rd. Your pass gets you access to gaming stage tournaments, stream studio, your favorite streamers, free play zone with the hottest PC and console games, and the mix with over 10 indie games and devs on site. And if you use the promo code LEVELUP, you can get $5 off your gaming pass. Well, that is all it. We are all done and dusted for the Open Premier Rocket League season. Northwood sits as the champs. We will show you some of the highlights from that incredible game you just saw. I want to see them. I want to get right to them. But first, I got to thank Mavics Gaming Chairs for bringing those highlights to us. Mavics Gaming Chairs, feel the difference. We'll see the highlights and be back with a quick interview to wrap it all up. Don't go away. Champions and Nay Starley, let's head down to the virtual field and see the Timberwolves and Falcons now lining up and ready to get into the action. Overtime, Northwood walks away with it. Timberwolves now back in the lead two and one. Fisher not letting up for one moment. We're heading in with a shot by Money on an open goal, and I think that's the final nail in the coffin as far as game two is concerned. Nice read by Money, and again, just a little bit too far up positioning hockey late on the rotation. So some moves in. Collision right in midfield, stopping a bit of momentum, but the goal is left wide open by Fisher, and Northwood will take that one and say thank you very much. Yeah, I had to wonder. So Money came in. Money was there with the rotation. He just misses out near the post. Lion Blaze tries to put a shot on goal. So so will read it and push it off into the corner. Money comes in. Oh, nice sneaky shot by Zanil. Let's take a look at that one again. You know, so much in these high-scale games, you you know, you get you, you get distracted by all the flashy acrobatic on goal saved by Northwood. Moving around the corner now, and a demo to put Fisher back in the running. Let's see that one again. Comes in, and amazing read by Money. My goodness, had Lion in his sights.
not letting up for one moment. So we're heading in with a shot by Money on an open goal, and I think that's the final nail in the coffin as far as game two is concerned. Nice read by Money, and again, just a little bit too far up positioning hockey late on the rotation. But no one really in center to follow up with a shot on goal. Northwood trying to hang on to this one goal lead, and Money will deny it right then, right there. And I don't think he even needed that much. No, that he did, was not assisted in any way. That is just a great play by a great player. Also moves in. Collision right in midfield, stopping a bit of momentum, but the goal is left wide open by Fisher. And Northwood will take that one and say thank you very much. Yeah, I have to wonder. So money came in. Money was there with the rotation. He just misses oh, on. Now coming in, hockey is going to run right into Tinze. Oh, nice centering and a shot by hockey. Just 11 seconds into overtime, Northwood walks away with it. Timberwolves now back in the lead, two and one. Huge. A huge breakaway opportunity for the series as far as Timberwolves are <laughs> I hate to see that one again. That's not even that you didn't have anyone committed on it. Zaniel comes in but just misjudges the shot. I got to give it to Sosa. That's a slick play. Off. Just one minute left, and this could be the one minute that decides it all. Oh, and what a whiff. What even was that from Northwood? Look at this, the ball is shot so slowly. Both fly in place and hockey have their sights on it and they just can't touch it. It only needs one goal and our season will be over. The Timberwolves as the champions, nice shot by Zaneo to claim it. Northwood, the Timberwolves, you are the NACE Star League Open Premier Rocket League champions. GG's all around and what a spectacular.